What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Tesla, Spy, Nvidia, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down what's going on with the overall market so far. Some very important levels to be watching for. And what's happening with earnings coming out for today alongside the news. But before I break anything down all this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I'm personally not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to 12 free stocks. This offer ends in just about 18 hours from now, so check it out before they run out. Anyways, let's break down what's going on with the market. So looking at SPY, this thing is still trying to gap up as of right now, kind of green in the pre-market. However, I just want to warn everyone that we have some bearish technicals developing. We have a triple bearish divergence on the five-minute time frame. On the 30 minutes time frame, we also have a uh, potential rejection coming very close to the 200 EMA. And we happen to have a uh, bearish divergence that's developing on the 30 minutes. On the four hour is the same thing that's developing as we're pumping. Uh, there is basically not as weak looking, but I don't really uh, fully trust this move nonetheless. And then if you look at like, you know, bigger time frames, especially the daily, uh, even though, you know, we're trying to balance, we haven't truly broken this 5 EMA. We're truly not like holding above it. We haven't closed above it. And on top of that, you know, the MACD is trying to curl, but it hasn't fully done it yet. So it's still, you know, not the strongest. So what I'm thinking is it is possible that the market has bottomed or we could make one final drop one final bottom before we get the much bigger bounce. And this might not be it yet. And that's why I just wanted to warn you about something else that's very, very important. Um, we're going to be looking at some key levels and some other very important things. Uh, looking forward, when it comes to economic data, we have the uh, employment cost benefits and wages that just came out. This was very close to expectations. Uh, we have the new home prices month over month and year over year coming out, the house price index all coming up before the market opens. And then once we open, we have these pieces of data coming out. So we first have the Chicago PMI 15 minutes after the market opens. Watch for volatility in the morning. Consumer confidence coming out at 10 o'clock a.m. or 30 minutes after the market opens. An hour after open, we have the Dallas Fed Services Index and uh, some more services data, but that's pretty much it for data. There's not really a whole lot. Now, when it comes to earnings, we have Pfizer and Caterpillar. They're going to come out. I'm actually recording this before they came out. And we have AMD coming out after the market closes. That's going to be worth watching for the semiconductors and other uh, blue chip stocks out there, which are related to it. Uh, going forward, stocks got a nice bounce for Monday, which is quite decent. But this does not guarantee that the bottom is in yet. I think the market's going to bottom soon. It may have already bottomed or it could be forming its bottom very, very soon. And we should see a very nice balance for November. It's just that we may not be ready yet. So I would just, we're going to be watching to see uh, the FOMC meeting on Wednesday, not to mention Apple's uh, earnings on Tuesday. Now, going forward, uh, I think that there's some news that GM reached its deal to stop the strikes at their facilities. Uh, this is very important, but these may continue as time goes on uh with the different companies and etc so we'll see what happens there uh there's also some news coming out that uh many investors are saying that tesla's stuck in a ditch uh tesla is continuing to sink and there is more weakness that is continuing to perpetuate but the real question is will this continue to hurt tesla you know for many months to come or is this going to be more short term i believe it's kind of a mix of both i still think that there are going to be issues for tesla for months to come but I also believe that this is just giving us another buying opportunity nonetheless. Uh, McDonald's is going to be joining Chipotle by raising prices in California. Uh, I believe it's because the fast food workers' prices are going to be rising to about, or their, their salaries are going to rise to like $20 an hour. Uh, that's going to be very important, at least for these companies, and if anyone's interested. And Pinterest ended up beating on earnings so far as one of the few that came out. So anyways, that's it for the news that's coming out so far for today. Now let's break down these charts, what's going on with SPY and etc. So looking at SPY, we actually have about 0.13% still. Now it's 0.15%, still trying to hold up. Now the weekly is showing signs of a balance, but I'm going to be very careful going to FOMC and 
Apple's earnings. I don't know if there's going to be one final leg down before we bounce and we try to establish a bullish divergence or if there's going to just be like a smaller drop. But I just want to warn everyone that we have this gap on SPY all the way down to 411. We haven't filled the gap just yet. And now we're establishing a bearish divergence, which makes me think SPY is going to return to 410 soon, possibly by Friday. So there's a risk of that. So I think that it is possible SPY pushes a little higher towards like 417.5 to 418. If we break 418, 420 is a possibility. But I believe that this thing could still, you know, whether we pop a little bit more and drop or we just drop from here. I believe if 417 is the top for the day, SPY could start to come down to fill this gap all the way back down to 410. Could drop even lower, so just be very careful. And if anything, I still hold my same view from before, which is I believe that the market is in a bottoming process. Whether the bottom is 409 or not is to be determined. If we do come down to fill this gap, we could break even lower in the future. Uh, if it does break lower, it's going to be fine because I still believe the market's going to bottom soon. We're going to see a very nice green month for November. That's what I'm anticipating. Even if we are a little weak, start off November completely fine. I believe the market will bounce nonetheless. All right, so I hope that's as clear as possible. Market could pop a little bit more, then we could see some downside. I think we're going to return down here. I'm anticipating you know, some downside, and I think it's going to have a big effect on how the whole market moves. We're also going to be paying attention to Apple's earnings to see how this affects SPY and etc. Looking at Apple stock, we have this channel development. We're starting to break below the channel. If we lose 169 on Apple, I can see this starting to drop a little bit towards 168. So just be very careful. Apple could sink the market a bit in the future. We're going to be watching to see how earnings ends up affecting this, not to mention FOMC. If we're bullish, we want to see it break and hold 170.26. If it does so, we can see this thing pushing for about 171. Right now, it's looking a little weaker, so I'm going to be watching to see if 169 holds. There is a risk to the downside coming for the market soon, so just be very careful. And by the way, on SPY, I forgot to call out some levels. Let me just be very quick with this. SPY, you know, we have 417, 418. And 420 is three major resistance levels for support. Don't forget to be watching 416. If you lose this, don't forget to watch 415 flat, 414, 413.3, and 412.5, and 410. I can I believe SPY is going to come back down to 410 soon. Uh, but I also hold my same view, guys, that the market's going to bottom or it already has bottomed. And then we're going to get a very nice bounce for November, a little bit into November. For NVIDIA. Now, this could start coming down with SPY in the future. So there's a risk of us potentially breaking 405 soon. Now, we could pop a little bit towards 410 to 412 and come right back down. Uh, I think NVIDIA could, once again, retest 405. And if we lose it, we could see NVIDIA start sinking towards 402 all over again. And if it loses 402, watch 400 as support, not to mention that 395 area. Now, NVIDIA looks like it's in the bottom process, but it could drop a little bit more first. If it drops and establishes a bullish divergence, it could bounce later on. Don't forget to be watching AMD's earnings. This could affect NVIDIA to some extent. Uh, so be watching that very carefully and watch these levels. I do anticipate a small drop for NVIDIA, but we'll see if we could hold above this 405 and then 402 level. If we break it, look for a bullish divergence and a bounce later on. For the QQQ, I just wanted to call out that currently we're still looking very flat right now, uh, but we're going to be watching this 350 area as resistance. If we break 350, three, watch 352. For support, watch 348. If we lose this, watch 345. So on the triple Q, we're going to be looking at the weekly. Looks like it's trying to bounce, but we could get a back test of the 50 EMA at 340 and then bounce. There is still a possibility of that. So I could still see a little downside before we bounce. So just be very careful on the daily. You know, we're still, we haven't truly established a bullish trend yet. We're still downtrending, so we'll see if we can try to change that. But I predict we might see some downside for the triple Q because we also happen to have a bearish divergence that has developed, uh, still developing right here. You guys can see it. We have like a double, maybe a triple bearish divergence here. Uh, and this, in turn, it could lead to some selling. So just want to be very careful. So there could be a drop coming for uh, the QQQ and SPY very, very soon. 
we'll see if 348 holds if you lose it watch for this gap down here at 345 to come i don't think the qqq is going to drop as hard as spy but i think there could be a pullback soon but then this thing is going to bottom just like spy and we're going to see a nice rally after that uh, last but not least for tesla uh, tesla stock is still looking bearish it's continuing to sell off. We're currently at 196. And I called out this bearish pennant that was forming. So the odds did favor more downside. I'm going to be watching this key level right here on Tesla's weekly chart. I'm going to be watching to see if we could hold this uh, really important 200 EMA. We're barely holding it right now on the weekly. If we lose 196, we could see Tesla start sinking lower. We're barely at 196 right now. If it breaks below this, watch 193 and then 190 and then 186. These levels could be tested. Tesla's looking a little weaker. There could be some downside coming, so just be very, very careful. Uh, if we lose 186, watch 185 as another level. And then we could get very close to 180 below that. So it's very important to note these levels. Uh, I think there's a risk of downside, so just be very careful. And don't forget that for resistance, watch 198 and 200. To turn bullish, you want to see Tesla break and hold and close above 200. As of right now, it hasn't done that, so the risk does favor the downside. All right, so thank you for listening. Have a great day, guys. The market could drop more, okay? There could be more downside, a new bottom that forms, but this could be the final bottom. I still hold my view. The market's in the bottoming process. The market's going to bottom soon. There's going to be a bottom coming, and the market's going to get a big bounce. Now, the bottom could be in. On, or we can make a new low and finally establish a bullish divergence and then the bottom could come i hope that's as clear as possible guys i am anticipating some downside soon so please be careful and do what you have to do thank you for listening have a good day and peace out